As we take a deep dive into the depths of Stoic philosophy, we uncover a trove of wisdom, a veritable guide to mastering emotions and navigating life with resilience. This ancient philosophy, born in the bustling marketplace of Athens and refined in the halls of Roman power, presents an approach to life that is as relevant today as it was over 2,000 years ago. The Stoics knew that life was full of challenges, but they also knew that each of these challenges held within them the seeds of opportunity. Imagine for a moment that you are standing at the base of a great mountain. This mountain, with its rocky crags and steep inclines, represents the challenges you face in life. Many of us look at this mountain and we see only obstacles, struggles, and hardship. We see a wall that separates us from where we are and where we want to be. But what if we could change our perspective? What if we could see this mountain not as an obstacle, but as a path to the top, a journey towards self-discovery and growth? Stoicism implores us to shift our perspective and embrace the challenges that life throws our way. These challenges are not meant to hinder us, but to shape us, to make us stronger, wiser. Each struggle we face is a lesson, each hardship an opportunity for growth. And it is through these lessons, through these opportunities, that we truly begin to understand ourselves and our emotions. Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions. It's about understanding them, controlling them, mastering them. It's about using emotions as tools rather than being a slave to them. It's about learning to respond rather than react. When we learn to view life's challenges as opportunities, we free ourselves from the chains of fear, anger, and despair, and we start to see the world through the eyes of wisdom and resilience. But this journey, this climb to the top of the mountain is not a solitary endeavor. Stoicism also teaches us the value of community, of reaching out to others, not only to share in their joys, but to bear their burdens as well. We are all climbing this mountain together, each of us facing our own challenges, our own struggles. But when we reach out a hand to help others, we not only make their journey easier, but we also strengthen our own resolve and deepen our understanding of the world around us. The Stoic philosophers believed in the power of rational thought, in the power of the mind to shape our reality. They taught that our emotions are not the product of the events that happen to us, but of how we interpret these events. This is why the same event can elicit different emotional responses in different people. It's not the event itself that causes our emotional reaction, but our perception of the event. Understanding this gives us the power to control our emotions, to change how we feel about the challenges we face. Instead of feeling anger or fear when confronted with a challenge, we can choose to feel curiosity, excitement, gratitude. We can choose to see each challenge as a puzzle to be solved, a game to be mastered, a mountain to be climbed. This is not an easy task. It requires discipline, patience, and a deep understanding of ourselves and our emotions. But the rewards are immense. Embracing challenges as opportunities gives us the resilience to navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. It equips us with the tools to face any situation with confidence and wisdom. And most importantly, it empowers us to live a life of purpose, of meaning, of fulfillment. So as we embark on this journey of understanding and mastering our emotions through the lens of Stoic philosophy, let us remember that every challenge we face is an opportunity for growth. Let us remember that our emotions are not our masters, but our tools. And let us remember that we are all in this together, climbing our own mountains, facing our own challenges, and growing stronger with each step we take. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Let's take these words to heart and start viewing life's challenges not as burdens but as opportunities for growth and learning. This is the first step in our journey towards emotional mastery. This is the path to living life as a Stoic. So, I invite you to take this first step with me. Let's start climbing this mountain together. Let's start turning our challenges into opportunities. The journey may be long and the path may be steep, but the view from the top is worth every step. At the heart of this ancient philosophy, Stoicism promotes the habit of reflective questioning, especially in emotionally intense situations. 
When we are gripped by powerful emotions such as anger, fear, or grief, it's easy to lose ourselves in the intensity of the moment. It's easy to react impulsively, to allow our emotions to dictate our actions. But Stoicism teaches us a different way. Imagine standing at the edge of a raging river. The current is strong, the water choppy and unpredictable. This river represents the flow of our emotions. Jumping in without any preparation, without any understanding of the river's nature, we are likely to be swept away. But if we take a moment to observe, to question, to reflect, we can navigate the river with skill and precision. In the midst of an emotional storm, Stoics advise us to pause and ask ourselves some key questions. What is the nature of this emotion? What is it trying to tell me? Is there a rational basis for this emotion, or is it driven by irrational beliefs or assumptions? Is my reaction in proportion to the situation, or am I overreacting? What would be the most constructive way to respond to this emotion? By cultivating the habit of reflective questioning, we create a psychological distance between ourselves and our emotions. We transform ourselves from being passive victims of our emotions to active observers. This shift in perspective allows us to navigate the tempestuous seas of our emotional life with greater skill and resilience. The ability to question our emotions, to reflect on their nature and their origins, is a powerful tool. But this tool is only effective if we understand the distinction between what we can and cannot control. This is another fundamental lesson of Stoicism. The Stoics divide the world into two categories, things within our control and things outside of our control. Our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, these are within our control. The weather, the actions of others, the passage of time, these are outside our control. The Stoics argue that we should invest our energy and attention only in those things that we can control, and accept with equanimity those things that we cannot. This may seem like a simple idea, but it has profound implications. How often do we waste our energy worrying about things we cannot control? How often do we allow our peace of mind to be disrupted by the actions of others or by circumstances beyond our control? By learning to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not, we can free ourselves from unnecessary worry and stress. Moreover, by focusing our efforts on those things that are within our control, we empower ourselves. We become the masters of our own destiny, the captains of our own ship. We learn to navigate the currents of life with skill and resilience, always steering towards our chosen destination, regardless of the winds and waves that life may throw at us. This ability to distinguish between what we can and cannot control also helps us in our interactions with others. Often, our relationships are strained by unrealistic expectations and unnecessary demands. We expect others to behave in a certain way, to meet certain standards, and when they fail to do so, we feel frustrated and disappointed. But if we remember that the actions of others are beyond our control, we can let go of these expectations and demands. We can accept others as they are, without judgment or criticism. This leads to more harmonious relationships and a more peaceful state of mind. But let's not forget, this is a practice. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about growth. It's about becoming more aware, more mindful of our thoughts, our emotions, our actions. It's about learning to navigate the ups and downs of life with wisdom and resilience. So let's make a commitment to ourselves. Let's commit to the practice of reflective questioning. Let's commit to understanding the distinction between what we can and cannot control. And let's commit to focusing our efforts on those things that are within our control. This is the path to emotional mastery. This is the path to a life of wisdom and resilience. This is the path of the Stoic. As we become more aware of this fine distinction between what we can and cannot control, we're naturally led to another key tenet of Stoicism, the importance of reflection before action. After all, distinguishing between the controllable and the uncontrollable requires us to step back and objectively assess our situation before we act. But what exactly does it mean to reflect before action? Consider a situation where you are faced with a significant decision. Perhaps you are considering a career change, 
ending a relationship, or moving to a different city. In these moments, it's natural to feel a whirlwind of emotions. Fear, excitement, doubt, and anticipation might all be swirling within you. Now, Stoicism does not ask us to ignore these emotions or suppress them. Instead, it invites us to reflect on them, to consider them carefully before we take action. It asks us to slow down, to create a space for thoughtful consideration amidst the cacophony of emotions. In doing so, we make decisions that are not solely based on our immediate emotional reactions, but are instead grounded in careful reflection and rational thinking. We enable ourselves to act in a way that aligns with our values, our long-term goals, and our deepest sense of self. This is the kind of thoughtful action that Stoicism promotes. Another powerful tool that aids in this process of reflection is the practice of Stoic journaling. Stoic journaling is a tool for self-examination, a space where we can engage in an open and honest dialogue with ourselves. It's a space where we can confront our fears, our worries, our hopes, and our dreams. It's a space where we can question our beliefs, inspect our values, and assess our decisions. Imagine sitting down at the end of each day and writing about your experiences. Reflecting on the situations you encountered, the emotions you felt, the decisions you made. Consider how each of your actions aligns with your values. Consider how your reactions to certain situations were influenced by your emotions. Consider how you can improve, how you can better align your actions with your values. This practice of stoic journaling is not about beating yourself up over your mistakes or wallowing in self-pity. It's about learning from your experiences, about growing and evolving as a person. It's about holding yourself accountable, about striving to be the best version of yourself. Journaling is not just about reflection, though. It's also about envisioning the future. It's about setting goals, about plotting a course towards them. It's about imagining the person you want to become, the life you want to live. And then it's about taking steps, however small, in the direction of that vision. In essence, Stoicism invites us to live our lives with a sense of purposeful direction. It implores us to be thoughtful and intentional in our actions. It encourages us to reflect on our emotions instead of being ruled by them. And it provides us with a powerful tool, Stoic journaling, to aid in this process of self-examination and personal growth. It's worth noting, however, that this practice of reflection and journaling is not meant to be a solitary endeavor. Stoicism encourages us to share our thoughts, our insights, our struggles, and our triumphs with others. It encourages us to engage in a community of like-minded individuals, to learn from each other, to support each other, to grow together. The path of Stoicism, then, is not merely a solitary journey of self-exploration. It's a communal voyage towards wisdom and resilience. It's a collective pursuit of emotional mastery. It's about supporting each other in our individual journeys, while also contributing to the growth and well-being of the community as a whole. So, as we navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics. Let us remember to distinguish between what we can and cannot control. Let us remember to reflect before we act. Let us remember to use our journals as tools for self-examination and growth. And let us remember that we are not alone, that we are part of a community, part of something larger than ourselves. This is the essence of Stoic resilience. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom. As we delve deeper into the waters of self-reflection and introspection, we naturally arrive at the concept of non-attachment. This is another critical facet of Stoic philosophy. Non-attachment is not about becoming cold or indifferent, as some may mistakenly believe. Instead, it pertains to the idea of experiencing life fully, but without being overwhelmed by the tidal waves of extreme emotions that can often distort our perception and decision-making. Imagine you're holding a glass of water. If you hold it for a minute, it's not a problem. If you hold it for an hour, you'll start to feel discomfort in your arm. If you hold it for a day, your arm will feel numb and paralyzed. In each case, the weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer you hold on to it, the heavier it feels to you. Our attachments are like that glass of water. 
Think about it. The longer we hold on to them, the more they begin to weigh us down. They begin to drain our energy and peace of mind. This can be an attachment to a person, a job, a material possession, or even an outcome. When we tie our happiness and peace of mind to these external factors, we put ourselves at the mercy of circumstances beyond our control. This is where practicing non-attachment comes into play. Non-attachment helps us to engage fully in life, savoring the joy of the moment, without clinging to these moments when they pass. It allows us to love deeply, without fear of loss or heartbreak. It helps us strive for our goals, without the fear of failure. Another critical element that complements non-attachment is gratitude. Gratitude, in the stoic sense, is not merely about saying thank you. It's about genuinely appreciating what you have right now. It's about focusing on the present moment and finding joy in it. Imagine waking up each morning and taking a few moments to simply revel in the miracle of being alive. Consider the feeling of the warm sun on your skin, the sound of birds chirping outside, the smell of fresh coffee brewing. These simple moments, which we often take for granted, are full of beauty and joy. Stoicism invites us to take a step back, to pause our pursuit of more, and simply appreciate these moments. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to the dissatisfaction and restlessness that often characterize modern life. It anchors us in the present moment and helps us find contentment there. In a society that often equates happiness with achievement and acquisition, Stoicism reminds us that happiness can also be found in simple appreciation. And this brings us to another vital aspect of Stoic philosophy, the embracing of change. Life is a constant flux of change, and resisting this inevitable flow can cause us immense stress and unhappiness. Stoicism teaches us to not only accept this change but to embrace it. After all, change is the very essence of life, the driving force behind growth and evolution. Stoicism encourages us to see change not as a threat but as an opportunity. An opportunity for learning, growth, and evolution. Each change, each transition, brings with it a wealth of new experiences, insights, and possibilities. When we embrace change, we open ourselves up to these opportunities. We become active participants in the dance of life, rather than passive observers. In essence, Stoic philosophy is about swimming with the currents of life, rather than against them. It's about embracing the inevitability of change, practicing non-attachment, and cultivating gratitude. It's about finding peace and contentment in the present moment, regardless of our circumstances. This philosophy does not promise a life devoid of challenges or hardships. But, it equips us with the wisdom and resilience to navigate these challenges with grace and composure. It empowers us to lead a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. And that, my dear friends, is the true power of Stoicism. Our voyage through the expanses of Stoic philosophy further takes us to the shores of perseverance. We live in a world where instant gratification is the norm, and many people want quick results. But Stoicism teaches us that life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about enduring the hard times, maintaining steadfastness in the face of adversity, and staying the course even when the going gets tough. The Stoics believed in the virtue of perseverance. They understood that success and growth are often the fruits of consistent effort and dogged determination. As one Stoic philosopher Seneca said, a gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. There are no shortcuts to personal growth and self-improvement. We must be willing to face and overcome the challenges and obstacles that stand in our path. We must persevere. Next, we also need to understand the Stoic perspective on mindfulness and acceptance. Mindfulness, in essence, is about being fully present in the moment, fully engaged in whatever we're doing. It's about paying attention to our thoughts, emotions, and actions, and how they're influencing our decisions and behavior. In today's world, where we're constantly bombarded with information and distractions, mindfulness is more important than ever. It helps us to stay focused and centered amidst the noise and chaos. It enables us to make more conscious and deliberate decisions, 
rather than simply reacting to the situations and people around us. Stoicism also encourages acceptance. Acceptance, in this context, is about acknowledging and coming to terms with the reality of our situation, without resentment or self-pity. It's about facing the facts head-on, and then taking whatever action we can to improve our circumstances. This doesn't mean that we resign ourselves to passivity or inaction. Rather, it means we recognize the things we can't change, and focus our energy and efforts on the things we can. Now, the point of exploring these Stoic teachings is not merely to understand them intellectually, but to integrate them into our daily lives. It's about living these principles and observing their transformative power firsthand. Trying to apply all these teachings all at once can be overwhelming. But remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about making steady, gradual progress. Start by picking one or two principles that resonate with you the most. Practice them consistently and observe how they influence your thoughts, emotions, and actions. Over time, as these principles become a natural part of your character, you can start incorporating more of them into your life. In conclusion, Stoicism is a practical philosophy that empowers us to live with wisdom, resilience, and equanimity. It equips us with the tools to navigate the challenges of life with grace and composure. It invites us to view life not as a sequence of isolated events, but as an interconnected whole, where every experience, every encounter, holds the potential for learning and growth. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found value in these teachings and want to delve deeper into the world of Stoic philosophy, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. The journey of personal growth and self-improvement is a lifelong one, and I look forward to exploring it together with you. Let's continue to learn, grow, and evolve together.